morning prayer for Monday, this week using morning prayer from Iona Community. And today we remember Mary Sumner. Mary Elizabeth Sumner Nee Hayward was born in 1828 at Swinton. In 1848, she married a young curate, George Henry Sumner, nephew of Archbishop Sumner, and who himself became Bishop of Guildford in 1888. A mother of three children, Mary called a meeting in 1876 at which the Mother's Union was founded, providing a forum in which to unite mothers of all classes in the aim of bringing up children in the Christian faith. Baptism and parental example were its two basic principles. At first a parochial organisation, it grew steadily into an international concern, encouraging the ideal of a Christian home. Mary died on this day in 1921. Faithful and loving God, who called Mary Sumner to strive for the renewal of family life, give us the gift of your Holy Spirit, that through word, prayer and deed, your family may be strengthened and your people served through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. In the beginning, before time, before people, before the world began, God was. Here and now, among us, beside us, enlisting the peoples of the earth for the purposes of heaven, God is. In the future, when all have turned to dust and all we know has found its fulfilment. God will be. Not denying the world, but delighting in it. Not condemning the world, but redeeming it. Through Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. God was, God is, God will be. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Our first reading today comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 1 to 5. Stay on good terms with each other, held together by love. Be ready with a meal or a bed when it's needed. Why, some have extended hospitality to angels without ever knowing it. Regard prisoners as if you were in prison with them. Look on victims of abuse as if what happened to them had happened to you. Honour marriage and guard the sacredness of sexual intimacy between wife and husband. God draws a firm line against casual and illicit sex. Don't be obsessed with getting more material things. Be relaxed with what you have. Since God assured us, I'll never let you down. Never walk off and leave you. And from Luke, chapter 11, verses 9 to 13. Here's what I'm saying. Ask and you'll get Seek, and you'll find. Knock, and the door will open. Don't bargain with God. Be direct. Ask for what you need. This is not a cat and mice hide-and-seek game we're in. If your little boy asks for a serving of fish, do you scare him with a live snake on his plate? If your little girl asks for an egg, do you trick her with a spider? As bad as you are, you wouldn't think of such a thing. You're at least decent to your own children. And don't you think the Father who conceived you in love will give the Holy Spirit when you ask him? For the word of God in Scripture. For the word of God among us. For the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. 
and so we'll pray. Let us pray for the breaking in of God's kingdom in our world today. Lord God, because Jesus has taught us to trust you in all things, we hold to his word and share his plea. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Where nations budget for war while Christ says, put down your sword, your kingdom come, your will be done. Where countries waste food and covet fashion, while Christ says, I was hungry, I was thirsty. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Where Christians seek the kingdom in the shape of their own church, as if Christ had come to build and not to break barriers. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Where we, obsessed with being adult, forget to become like children. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Where our prayers falter, our faith weakens, our light grows dim. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Where Jesus Christ calls us, your kingdom come, your will be done. Lord God, you have declared that your kingdom is among us. Open our ears to hear it, our hands to serve it, our hearts to hold it. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. from where we now are, to where you need us. Jesus, now lead us on. From the security of what we know, to the adventure of what you will reveal. Jesus, now lead us on. To refashion the fabric of this world until it resembles the shape of your kingdom. Jesus, now lead us on. Lord, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together, confirming us the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The Lord be with you.